Good evening, I'm Tina Jensen. An archery bear hunt in New Mexico is set to begin one week from today. Game and Fish says it helps them manage the bear population, but a local group argues too many bears have already died this year, and killing even more of them could be devastating to the population. News 13's Lizay Mitri has the story. This has become a more common sight in Albuquerque lately. New Mexico Game and Fish says they've captured nearly 50 bears in the area and another 20 have been put down or hit by cars. Statewide, the number of bears killed is 145 so far this year. That's just one fewer than the bears killed in the entire year last year. And that's not including bears that are hunted. This has the founder of an organization called Sandia Mountain Bear Watch worried. This Sandia bear population is going to be destroyed. If it isn't already, she's especially concerned as we approach September 1st, which marks the start of a bow and arrow bear hunt across the state. In previous years, the state would take into account how many bears have already died from accidents like this, for example, to help put a limit on the number of bears hunters can kill. But that's not the case this year. I don't think this uh, small Bear population statewide can take that kind of uh, damage year after year after year. Game and Fish admits the bear deaths have been high this year, but they say it's not the worst the state's seen. In fact, they say the bear population is on the rise, and it's their job to keep it at a sustainable level. Our bear population estimates are conservative. Actual numbers of bears on the landscape could be two times higher than that. Game and Fish says it believes the population statewide is in the thousands, but the state is spending more than $100,000 to work on getting an accurate estimate. Liz Amy Tree, KRQE News 13. Sandia Mountain Bear Watch has suggested setting up feeding stations to keep the remaining bears alive and draw them up away from people's homes to prevent some of those kills. But critics say that can cause more problems, making the bears dependent on that food.